Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is gonna be a tutorial on this wig sent to me from IDN Hair. I will have all of their information, the promo codes, and the direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. The wig that I was sent is a 13 by six, 20 inch, curly, 180% density, lace front wig. This wig features IDN's new 3D wig cap construction. So on IDN Hair's new cap construction, you do get three combs and an adjustable strap as well as a removable elastic band. But their new cap construction features a more fitted wig cap construction and also longer sideburns. This cap is designed to be worn completely glueless if you choose to go that route. Taking this wig out of the package and placing it straight onto my head, I already see that the hairline is not rounded like my hairline. The natural hairline on this wig is more square, which lets me know that I have to have baby hairs on this wig. The first thing that I'm gonna do is get rid of some of that extra density along the hairline. So I'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting to just thin out the hairline a little bit more so that it can look a little bit more natural. This step is always optional and the hairline does come pre-plucked. So if you are not comfortable with plucking the hairlines of your wigs, you do not have to do this step. But I do like taking this step to pluck more hairs from the hairline, especially when the hairline shape is not a perfect match for my hairline. It looks a lot more natural to me in my opinion. So I am gonna just take my time to thin out the hairline and I'll show you guys the results in a second. All right, so now that I'm satisfied with how the hairline is looking, I'm just gonna grab my lace tint and tint the lace of this wig. I am grabbing two different colors of lace tint. The first color is the color of my foundation, which I'll be spraying along the edge or hairline portion of this lace frontal. And then the second color is the color of my scalp, which I'll be spraying on the inner portion of this lace frontal. I'll be doing two different layers of each color of lace tint and blow drying, of course, in between each layer. So I parted off camera where I wanted my two space buns to be, and now I'm just going to style the hair. I'm grabbing this Extreme Hold Gel, as well as a bottle of water, and my Denman brush in a detangling comb. In small sections, I'm just going to start by detangling the section, then grabbing my water bottle and fully saturating it with water, then applying that curling gel, and then using my Denman brush to get these curls to pop. I'm gonna follow those steps throughout the entire head, and I'll come back for the next step. So now that I am at the front of the head, I'm just going to prep the space buns by detangling this section and then putting it in a rubber band. And of course, because the hair will be in a rubber band, I'm just going to section off where I want the baby hairs to be and how much baby hairs I want before putting it in that rubber band.
All right, so now I'm just gonna grab my diffuser and start diffusing the hair. This is going to give the hair more body and volume and allow it to dry quicker. Okay, so now it is time to cut away that extra lace. I'm just going to move these baby hairs backwards so that I can have a clear view of the hairline. And then I'm just gonna grab a pair of zigzag scissors and carefully follow the natural curvature of this hairline and get rid of that extra lace. So now it is time to prep my skin for the install. I'm just gonna grab some alcohol and clean off my forehead. Then I'll be grabbing scalp protector from Walker Tape and applying that to my scalp. So the adhesive of choice today is Wonder Lace Bond from Even New York. I'm just gonna grab the wig and spray that to the edge of the lace on the under portion of the wig and then blow dry for a few seconds. Next, I'm just gonna grab the wig, place it on my head in its proper placement. And then I'm just going to put my headscarf on for about 20 minutes to allow that lace to set. And 20 minutes later, removing my headscarf, here is how the lace is looking. I'm just gonna grab these baby hairs, cut them a little bit shorter, and then use my gel to swoop them into place. And here's the results from doing that. So these curls are so beautiful, but I do want them a little bit fuller. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and just finger comb through the hair just to give it more body and volume. And here is the result from doing that. Next, I'm just gonna grab these ponytails and then twist them around and around and around to give myself some space buns. And here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I will have all of the information, the promo codes and direct links to this wig from ID and Hair down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below for more information and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I, I, I.